Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today I want to do a little tutorial. Um, this was a request that I got from a subscriber and it was basically about the one little word stuff. She asked how she could use the digital kit that you get with one little word when she doesn't have Photoshop or something like that. Well, you can use Canva. Now, as you can see here, I've created a document here. This is 11 by eight and a half. So this means that if I open this, this is a document that I've created. And this means that if I'm doing a my, my personal um, folder that I'm using for my one little word is eight and a half by five and a half. So I know that if I bring this guideline in here from the side, so what I did was I grabbed a little guide here, click and drag. All right, so as you can see, I've got this and I can do one kind of sheet here for my half letter design and I can do another one here. But how do I get the files? So I come here, you've got the up, upload your files here. So I can upload files, come into where my files are and that should be, wait, where are they? Up there, I couldn't see them for looking. So this is where my files are here in Ali Edwards 2023 OLW and then I can come in and then just click click open and then they will get uploaded and then all I can do then is just click them resize them whatever I want to do to add them to my page and then I can come in take the text I'm just doing this for an example happy birthday, and then we are good. And then I can just save that and then print it out. However, what you can also do is come into this thing here where it says projects. Now where it says projects, you can create folders. Now I'm not sure, I think this is, if you're on the free version, you, you may only get one or two folders. And if you are on the pro version, you get unlimited. So what I'm going to do, because I know that this is my year long project, I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it one little word 2023. Create folder. Beautiful. Now, if I come up here to where it says folders, I can scroll down. And I should be able to find. I cannot see it because I am blind. There, one little word, wow. And then click on that. And then I can put all of these in here. And this is how I will do it. I'll just bring them all in here. So the other thing that you can do is make sure that you have your one little word here, your folder here selected, come into this and drag them in. Um, I'm going to skip the rest so that you're not watching the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you as well. So this is mine. This is my um, eight and a half by five and a half. Now, right now we're doing, what are we doing? Intentions. So this is the intentions page. This, this thing here is sized for the eight by six, I think it is. I think it's eight by six folder or six by eight, whatever it is, six by eight folder that Ali is doing. I think that's right. I think it's a six by eight. That, yeah, she's doing six by eight, but I'm doing five and a half by eight and a half. So all I've done here is that you'll see that this background is white. Let me just change that color so that you can actually see. So this white one here is the one from the kit. The pink background is just the background of the, the document that I'm using. I'm going to change that back to white. All right, so we've got this in. And what I want to show you is that you can just take this. You could just print it out. Maybe you just want to print it out as is. You've got your intentions here. And then on the other one, let's say you did the year ahead. There you go. Those are the two things that maybe we want to do right now. But let's say this is my pages. I want to do eight and a half by five and a half here eight and a half by five and a half here. Then I could print it out, just fold it down the middle line here and then punch it and put it in my planner. The other thing that you can do is you look at this and you're like, okay, I like it. Maybe I want to put my text straight on here. So you take 
over here to text, add a little body of text, and I'm going to select all of that and just put my journaling goes here. And I'm just going to do a big block of text right here so that we get the idea. Okay. So I'm just using all of the stuff that's in Canva here to make this fit. And I've said this before, but you can change your fonts. You've got tons of different fonts that you can do. Um, you can change your color. You can change the color of your font. So if you notice that I've chosen, I've got black right now chosen, but it kind of clashes. So it kind of clashes with this color on the kit. But if you look over here, you've got photo colors and it will tell you this color is right here. Look, I click that. Now it matches. It could also click this one to match this text up here. But I like that one to match there. But if I put that here, I just feel that this gets in the way, right? This gets in the way. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to click this intentions sheet. And if you notice, you've got these little slider things down here. Now I can slide that up to there, but that's not going to make a difference. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this. So how do I do that? I just do that. I just do that. I just slide it right up. And then my journaling can go right in here. But I know that when I punch this, I want the punches to go here. Right? So I've got to leave a little bit of a gap. Let's say half an inch. I'm going to justify it to the left. I could have it justified all. I can justify it to the right. I can center it. I want it to the left. And then that can be my journal link. I can do the same thing over here. Now I've got the year ahead on this side. Now, what if I'm going to move that down a little bit so that it's kind of level with this one. Um, what if I come in here into this bit and I want to put my text in, but I've got more text than is in there. Oops. Too much to say about this. So I come in and I've got this big bunch of text that I want to put in. And again, I'm going to change the color. Should be already set, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to change the color to match. But let's say now that kind of goes over this bit. You see that? It goes over the, the other text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, select this bottom layer, sweep it up. I'm going to keep it selected, control D or come up here and do duplicate. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's just duplicated that. Yeah. But if I do this, oh, look, now I can just slide those and I've got the same thing in a different spot. Control D. Now I do the same with the next one and I can put these wherever I want then, they're not kind of specific to how they were originally. I can move them about now that they're in Canva. Let's just pretend that that is all of the text that I've, I need. Okay. So that's what you can do there. You can use a big block here. You can move things around. You can take out text. You can add text. You can add different things. Um, also, if you have, I'm just going to bring in upload and upload some of the other stuff. So I'm adding some of the other little things that are in the kit. Let's say you take this and you're like, okay, well now I've got this weird thing and it's in the middle of nowhere. All right. Let's say you put it there. I'm just, you know, I'm just example. Let's say you put it there again. You've got these little things on the corners to move things around, to make them bigger, make them smaller. You could even, if you wanted to, a little kind of washi strip out of these and make them all in a line. I hope you can see that instead of them being individual words. You can just take them all the way across. You can just have them on the edges here. But this is how you can use Canva to kind of create your one little word stuff. 
add another page, do more things. Let's say for this, you want to bring it down. What I might do for this is creating my own pattern paper here, but let's take that. I'm just giving you examples here. So, you know, you do you. I'm going to put that one behind, duplicate it, put that one behind, and then this one, I'm thinking I'm putting it up there. I actually might prefer the other one. But I'm just seeing what I feel I want to do. And I kind of like that more. So again, look at this side. I can clip that down. I can squeeze it in. I can squeeze it in. And if you don't get these, if you don't get these little squeezy things, I'm going to call them squeezy things. It's very technical. If you don't get those, you can come up here to crop and that will bring in these square lines and that makes it permanently for this project that size. Done. Now, when I resize this, that's the size that it is. So these are all the things that you can do with Canva. It's extremely useful. And then here's the thing. Okay, so let's say I've got this now. I don't really like that. Let's choose a darker one. Who I'm becoming. I like that more. I want that there. But I want something underneath here because this feels a little bit lost. So I want something underneath underneath here. I want a, a border, if you like, between this, this patterned paper and the gray underneath it. What I would like is some kind of border underneath it. So I'm going to come up to elements, come to my rectangle, and then drag that roughly underneath, position backwards, and I'm going to change the color. And again, it will choose colors that are already in the files that I'm playing with. I'm going to choose that one maybe. And I'm just playing with things. And this is part of the thing. Don't be afraid to play. Don't be afraid to play. I mean, again, it's my year. My word of the year is play, but don't be afraid to play. Don't be afraid to experiment with things and just try it. Because you don't know until you start playing with things. I kind of like that for now. Now, the other thing that you can do um, is if you feel like the color, I don't really like this gray. I'm going to come over here to edit image and I can use the sliders on all of this to change the color. It won't change it drastically because it's already a pre-existing thing, but it will change it a little bit and maybe enough to just make yours, yours. I hope that makes sense. So if you have a color palette that you're using, maybe you don't have this and you're putting that there and this is gonna be your text. I'm just gonna take this text here and bring it down here. And then I'm gonna reduce that. Okay, that's taking a little bit bigger, now that's tiny. I'm gonna change that color to that gray, that gray color, or no, the white, the white's better. And then can you see how this color is different? I want it to be more dark like this. So what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm gonna choose the saturation, see if that makes a difference, not really. Contrast, ah, now we're getting somewhere. So do you see how it's changing the color and stuff? Play with it, make it work for whatever you're using whatever you are using. So now I can do a more of a green, clearly, than I had before. And the other thing that you can do is come up here. Like I'm trying to get the same thing here as I have here at the top. I come up here, I click this, I click this little kind of um, paint roller, copy the style, and then click the one that I want it to copy to. So I've taken this and made it the same here. Now I take this one and I'm going to do that color. Yeah. And then this 
I'm going to change the text and make it the same as this color here, this darker green. Come over here to document colors, click the little pencil, hover over there. Now it's the same. So there's tons of things that you can do in here. And I'm going to suggest again, and I've said this before, but if you are coming into a project like this and you're coming in to use Canva, play, play with all of the stuff, play with it you know, click something, see what happens. Oh, I'm using this. Oh, I've done something wrong. I don't like that now. And I can't get it to go back. Come up here, undo. Come up here and you're like, oops. Come up here, undo. Oh, I was here. And then I came in and I did something and now it's brown. Oops. Undo. This is your go back. This is your Oops, I made a mistake. This is a, oh, you know what? I kind of like that mistake. Do I? Not sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Right? So play with things. But this is an excellent way for you to come in, play with your one little word kit, and just make it yours. If, if, the, if the colors in the kit don't work, Canva is a great way to recolor them. All right, I hope this helps, gives you a little insight into how you can use Canva to do your one little word projects, how you can recolor and make everything your own. Let me know if you found this useful in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.